This is Twit. Power Color was showing off a a mini, a tiny, a short uh, RX Vega 56 um, at uh, Computex 2018. They made it official. Um, the Power Color RX Vega 56 Nano Edition. So 170 millimeters long, which uh, for those of us who love the mini ITX cases is fantastic news. Uh, whether or not you'll be able to actually buy one anytime soon is an entirely different question. Uh, and this was their original uh, uh, R9 Nano was something in the neighborhood of $650. So I think I'm looking at a short 1060 10, or 1070 uh, for my next build. But it's nice to know there's going to be AMD options out there. So... If you remember back to the unveiling of Vega, Vega 64, Vega 56 at SIGGRAPH, AMD had a live event. I think they streamed it. They definitely streamed it, I think. Uh, I remember being corralled through metal detectors to go into this room. Mm -hmm. um, and they actually showed the Vega Nano at that event. I think they gave the first one you know, ceremoniously to Tim Sweeney from Epic Games. And oh, nice. uh, they, they gave him that card. And ever since then, we saw the launch of the Vega 64. We saw the launch of, of Vega 56. And, you know, then we had the mining crisis, uh, uh, the great mining crisis of 2017, 2018, as I call it now. Um, and then uh, this card never really materialized. It was it had like a, a standard AMD-based cooler on it, you know, AMD-branded right. fan and all that. Uh and that never really came to be. And what what was happening was, is if you looked at some of these power color cards that were shipping, they actually already had the short PCBs, but they were using larger, more significant coolers and fan setups, heat sinks and fans. Um, and I don't know at AMD's request or power color said they'd gotten enough, you know, people asking about it that they decided to release the version that has the shorter cooler on it as well. And and the original RX R9 R9 Nano, which came out with the Fiji products. Mm -hmm. You know, it wasn't like it was a huge seller, but it was a very unique product that that NVIDIA never really countered with. They kind of progressively got smaller versions of, you know, 1070s and 1070s, right. uh, 1080. Maybe they had a 1080 from Zotac or somebody. Uh, but this was one of the promised benefits of HBM memory and this new kind of GPU memory design that you can have smaller PCBs. Uh, it turns out that having smaller PCBs doesn't negate the need to cool it. So you still have to have a PT <laughs> cooler on it. Uh, <laughs> but they're they're at that place. So I'd, I'd be really curious to get one of these in and do some testing. How noisy is it? What? How consistent right. are the uh, uh, are the clock speeds of the GPU? That was one of the issues we have with the original R9 Nano as well. So maybe, maybe, maybe. I'm just maybe. happy I didn't buy one of these six or eight weeks ago because you know you can now pick up a 1080 for 549 a 1060 with six gigabytes of ram for 310 the three gigabyte 1060 is down as little as 230 240 bucks um yeah really glad i didn't buy one of these for 500 and change a few weeks ago that would have been painful <laughs>